Hey guys, and welcome back to Celeb Plant. How are you doing? I hope you're having a great day. In today's video, we are going to talk about what happened to Sienna May. Where did she go? But before we begin with today's topic, make sure to like this video, subscribe to our channel, and turn on the notifications so you don't miss any of our upcoming videos. Without further ado, let's get right into the video. There have been numerous reports that Sienna May is no longer alive. Sienna Mae Gomez isn't dead, rather the famous TikToker was targeted for hate after a friend made sex allegations. To learn more about this case, keep watching the video. Famous TikToker Sienna Mae Gomez's friend Jack Wright has accused her of sexual abuse. This could be one of the reasons for Gomez's death ruse. Sienna Mae's cancellation began in spring 2021 after weeks of speculation that she and Jack had called it quits. Then, on Twitter, Mason Rizzo, one of Jack's close friends, revealed more details about what happened between them. Despite the fact that Jack had established clear boundaries in their relationship, Mason accused Sienna of sexually assaulting him on multiple occasions. In a tweet that has since been deleted, Mason also claimed that Sienna told Jack to kill himself and that she had a history of being verbally abusive and putting her own development ahead of everything else. Mason explained in a follow-up tweet that he deleted his original tweet after all parties involved in the situation agreed that dealing with the situation offline would be the best option. In a now-deleted Instagram post at the time, Sienna responded to the allegations, claiming that they were false. She said, Friends fight and relationships sometimes change, but allegations of a criminal act are not to be thrown around loosely. She then added, Making an untrue sexual assault claim is never okay. I'm beyond saddened by this situation. In order for all of us to move forward, I will be taking this offline with Jack. Thank you to all who have reached out with love and concern. Jack uploaded a YouTube video titled What Sienna May Did to Me on January 20th, 2022. He discusses how he agrees with everything his friend Mason Rizzo said in his now deleted tweet about Sienna May sexually assaulting Jack multiple times after he had established boundaries and telling Jack to commit suicide. According to Jack, Mason saw a lot of it. Later, Jack admits that much of what Sienna May said about him in her own video hurt a lot, and that much of what she said about him was false. When he talks about how a TikTok creator explained that he went through was a trauma, he starts crying in the video. Jack also admits that he met Sienna May through a mutual friend with whom she was dating at the time, and that she betrayed him. After she had gone viral a few times, she invited Jack to do an interview with her in LA, which he accepted. They both knew that they were just friends, Jack clarifies. He said, she was sitting and talking to other guys in LA all the time. They began making videos and having a good time together. After some time, Jack claims that Sienna May attempted to start something sexual with him for the first time after making a video. He claims she stripped down to her underwear and straddled him. He yanked her away from the table and exited the room. Sienna apologized the next day, according to Jack, but the cycle of her doing something sexually inappropriate and apologizing would continue. He said, Looking back now, I don't know why I stayed friends with her, stayed around her. He then added, I truly thought she was going to change for some reason. He also accused her of breaking into his house and said she remembered his door codes. He recalled being asleep and waking up to her hand in his pants. Toward the end of the video, Jack says that multiple other guys came to him with similar stories about Sienna May and shares messages they sent him with permission. Sienna responded to Jack's video with a Medium post titled, Sienna May Gomez Reflections from an 18-Year-Old May. On January 23, 2022, she discusses how turning 18 hasn't gone as planned because of the allegations, how she met Jack and their relationship, and she continues to deny that she assaulted him in any way. She wrote in the article, I've never been so scared in my life. Despite her absence from social media, Sienna has been very active on her website since January. Her most recent post from March 31st discusses her Muse magazine feature. In it, the social media influence writes, One thing no one really talks about when you're getting into the entertainment business is how intimidating it can be. Especially as a young woman, to walk onto a set with people who are two or three times your age and have been working for a long time. She continued, It's such a good feeling when you get the vibe that all of the pros you are working with take the time to lend some of their genius which is exactly what happened on the set today. 
Everyone was incredibly gifted in their own right and the vibe of the shoot was so fun. We were blasting Ariana Grande, drinking Starbucks, and getting adventurous with my looks for the day. That's it for today. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on that notification bell so you never miss out on any future content we'll produce for you guys. We're signing off now, but we'll be sure to catch you all in the next one.